How Samsung became a successful technology company. How did Samsung go from being a manufacturer of refrigerators to a major player in the smartphone industry? In today's world, Samsung is pretty much synonymous with a household name. It has become one of the most successful and well-known technology companies in the world. It is possible to run an entire household on technology from Samsung, including smartphones, televisions, refrigerators, and washing machines. But where did such a renowned and successful tech giant originate? How did Samsung become a successful technology company? Stay tuned to Success Stories to find out. Under the original name of Samsung Electric Industries, the company Samsung was established in South Korea in January of 1969. Lee Byung-chul, a South Korean businessman, was the man who established the company. A far cry from its current home in the technology industry, the company used to be a part of the Samsung Group, which was generally known by South Koreans as a company that specialized in the trade of fertilizers and sweeteners. The company's current home is in the semiconductor industry. After forming a joint business venture with Sanyo, a Japanese electronics company founded in the 1940s, Samsung Electric Industries initially focused on selling consumer electronics that were considered to be everyday necessities, such as refrigerators and calculators. Then in 1970, Samsung Electric Industries joined forces with NEC, another Japanese technology company, in a new business venture. The two businesses subsequently merged to form Samsung, NEC, which later changed its name to SDI. The two companies worked together on the conceptualization and production of various audio-visual devices and home appliances. Despite this, Samsung and Sanyo continued to work together on their joint venture, and in 1973, the two companies merged to form Samsung Sanyo Parts. In the subsequent eight years, Samsung's success continued to grow, and by 1981, the company had achieved a total of over 10 million sales of black and white televisions. Additionally, in the year 1974, the Samsung Group expanded its operations by entering the semiconductor industry. It was able to accomplish its goal by purchasing Korea Semiconductor, a business that was struggling at the time and was on the verge of declaring bankruptcy. As a consequence of this, Samsung Semiconductor and Communication was eventually established. In addition, Samsung established Samsung Data Systems in 1985, which later became Samsung SDS and catered to the ever-increasing demands placed on businesses in regard to the development of information technology. It is reasonable to assume that Samsung was enjoying success at this point in time. However, we all know that success comes with its share of challenges, right? Similarly, Samsung has mobile phone issues. Even though Samsung's well-known in the smartphone industry for the quality of its products today, the company was not always so successful in the field. In the 1980s, Samsung began to investigate the potential of the mobile phone industry, and in 1988, it presented its first mobile phone to the general public in South Korea. However, Samsung was not able to achieve the desired level of sales because Motorola, a telecommunications company that was established in 1928, already held a share of the Korean mobile phone market that was equivalent to 60%. The market share that Samsung was able to secure for itself at the time was only 10%. This issue persisted for Samsung for a number of years to come, during which time a number of their products gained a reputation for having subpar performance and quality. It is said that the management of the company frequently considered withdrawing from the mobile phone market due to the problems caused by these issues. Samsung is one of the few mobile phone companies that has exceeded expectations and made it to the very top of the market. This is despite the fact that it is not the only company to have experienced difficulties in the mobile phone industry. Other brands, such as LG and Amazon, have been unable to succeed at all in such ventures. This was only made feasible as a result of one important choice. The realization that Samsung required a new business strategy for its future did not come until 1995, well over a decade after the company's first attempt to break into the mobile mobile phone market. The person who was the driving force behind this shift was Lee Kun Hee, who is currently the chairman of Samsung Electric Industries. It was decided that the company would concentrate more on cutting-edge technology that was still in the process of development, rather than the less desirable and successful products that they were selling at the time. These kinds of products were discontinued, and the company put its resources into developing new kinds of technology. Samsung continued to grow and expand as a technology company in the early years of the 21st century, eventually overtaking its competitor Sony to become the 21st largest consumer company in the world. In addition to this, it ensured its position as the most well-known consumer brand overall. 
Now, let's go back in time to when Samsung first introduced its smartphones to the public. The Samsung Galaxy S was the company's very first smartphone, and it was released back in June 2010. The new phone was well received by the general public, with many individuals comparing it to other profitable Android-powered smartphones such as the Nexus One and the HTC Desire. The Super AMO LED display on the Galaxy S was praised by both reviewers and the news media. Despite this, the device did receive some criticism for having subpar GPS functionality and for having performance that deteriorated over time. Since the debut of the Galaxy S, Samsung has introduced dozens of new mobile devices, each one improving upon its predecessor in terms of software advancements and hardware specifications. Some products, such as the Galaxy Note Edge, were able to achieve the highest levels of commercial success. The curved screen edges of the Galaxy Note Edge made it stand out from other smartphones when it was released in 2014. The Galaxy S8 and S9 are two of the many smartphones that have followed in the footsteps of the original Edge by incorporating this curved screen technology. Even though it was seen as more of a concept product of the time, the phone was eventually made available to the public and served as a model for subsequent mobile devices. The Galaxy Tab S2 is a high-end digital tablet that was released by Samsung in September 2015. It was released not long after the Note Edge, which was released in August 2015, and at the time it was regarded as one of the most impressive tablets that Samsung had yet made available to the public. The screen on the tablet measured 9.7 inches and it came equipped with an 8 megapixel camera and octa-core processor. Since the launch of the Tab S2, Samsung had continued to produce an increasing number of high-quality tablets, the Galaxy Tab Active 3 being the company's most recent release. Since the launch of its first smartphone in 2010, Samsung's come a long way, with its most recent technological advances allowing for the release of foldable smartphones, including the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold and the Z Fold 2. These two incredible pieces of technology each come equipped with a feature that enables the display of the smartphone to fold in half. Even 5G connectivity and a display with a resolution of 1768 by 2208 pixels are included in the Fold 2 smartphone. The growth of this company will not halt anytime soon. Curious as to why? Well, the fact that Samsung's currently showing interest in artificial intelligence is proof that the company has no plans to slow down in its pursuit to manufacture cutting-edge technology for the general public. Bixby, Samsung's built-in artificial intelligence system, which made its debut in the Galaxy S8, already provides users with an AI experience and functions in a manner that's comparable to that of Apple's Siri. On the other hand, Samsung's now delving further into the realm of AI in its attempt to integrate AI into the lives of people on a daily basis. It's been stated by Samsung that the company now is concentrating on the user experience and the benefits that can be gained from using AI. It is Samsung's intention to make ongoing efforts to incorporate artificial intelligence into its upcoming products with the user's experience taking precedence over the AI technology itself. There is no question that Samsung, thanks to the rapid rate at which it's advancing in the technology industry, will continue to develop groundbreaking products for customers all over the world. Who knows what kind of mind-blowingly advanced technology Samsung will incorporate into its products in the years to come. The only thing that we can be certain of is we'll be here to discuss it. So that's all about the most successful technology company. We hope you liked today's video. Please give it a thumbs up. And I'm just curious to know, which Samsung phone was your favorite? Let us know in the comments space and please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.